What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you guys how I came up with the perfect fishing scale setup for around 30 bucks. My name is Mario, this is the Bearded Sportsman Channel. Today we are going to be talking about this little compact scale for kayak or boat fishing that cost me around $30. So what we've got here is a 50 pound Berkeley fishing scale and a 6 inch pair of Rapala lip grips. So this scale actually stores 10 weights for you in an auto save function. It is weather resistant, it's got a nice ergonomic grip to it, and it's a very simple two button layout. The screen is easy to read even in the daylight. You're able to turn the battery cover off without much issue, and you'll find on the back there is a weather sealed o-ring right here where the batteries go. Now the batteries this thing takes are the button cell style CR2032 batteries. It takes two of them. So once you have your two batteries in there, the cover goes on nice and easy. Now when you purchase this scale in the box, it comes with the standard hook to hook into the fish's lip. With the advancements in fish lip grips, a lot of people aren't really into the hooks anymore, especially uh, catch and release fishermen because they want to do as little harm to the fish as possible. So that's where these come in. This is the Rapala 6 inch fish lip grip. They are a all plastic design aside from the stainless steel rivets. The grip does lock in place once it gets closed. In the fully open position you've got a really nice gap to work with here and then as you go to close it you get to this point and then it snaps locked. That is not coming apart and it is a nice bright color so they are easy to identify in your tackle pile. And Rapala does sell a fish scale very, very similar to this setup right here. The number one reason that I decided not to purchase that and went with this instead is because from the reviews that I saw on that scale, the calibration of the scale is not as accurate as I would want it to be. It could be up to a pound off for a four pound fish and that's just a little bit too far off for my liking. These Berkeley scales are very tried and true. We have been using these for fishing for years and I can tell you that the accuracy is within ounces on these scales. So what I did here was I took the hook off of the scale with a pair of pliers and a screwdriver. Very simple, just pry it open and take it off. And then I took the supplied uh, D-link and the wrist strap that comes with the fish lip grips, took that off with the same pair of pliers. And then I just took the key ring that comes on the scale and I threaded it through the fish lip grips. As you can tell that that's very simple. I think it took me five minutes to put this thing together. When you zero it, it'll automatically compensate for the grips. So you're making sure that your fish is the weight that you're seeing. I wanted the six inch because I wanted the whole profile of this to be very small. That way that I could fold it up, toss it under my kayak seat and be done with it. With that hooked together is a nice solid design. You don't have to worry about finding each piece of gear when you're trying to weigh your fish. Everything is together. That may not be a very big deal to everybody and if it's not, that's fine. This video is not sponsored by Berkeley, not sponsored by Rapala. This is just to show you the scale setup that I have on my kayak. So let me know what you guys think of this setup. If it's something that you like, if it's something you're thinking about doing, go ahead hit the like button down there. Throw in a comment if uh, you have a scale that is working great for you so that that recommendation can get out to everybody as well. If you've got any questions, feel free to throw them down in the comment section below. Thank you to all the people that have subscribed in the last month. There has been so many more than I expected. The interaction that I'm getting from you, the viewers, is absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.